All right, we've made it out to the hut. Cold day, but we're nice and warm now. I've spent a lot of time out here with my buddies ice fishing. Scott Gardner is here from Outdoor Canada. He's actually been on the cover a couple times too, which is really awesome. Today, we're gonna to talk about ice fishing. Let's talk about licensing a little bit. Sure, um, for any fishing you do, it's really important. Everyone in Ontario, our province, who's between 18 and 64 needs a fishing license. They're not super expensive. You know, uh, the cost of two movies is how I think of it. And there's no excuse for not knowing the rules. It's very important to have a license and that money goes back into conservation. What about um, clothing? For ice fishing, the most important thing is good boots. You want a boot that's insulated and that has a pretty thick sole. The, the thing that keeps your feet the warmest is distance from the ice, actually. So a nice thick sole in the boot and insulation and preferably a little bit of waterproofing around the bottom because there's often a little water splashing around. That's the, that's the place to start. Let's talk about gear. Sure. What do we need? So the first thing you need is an auger. And uh, I usually, I almost all the time use a hand auger, which only costs about 100 bucks, 60 to 100 bucks. And you just drill a hole through the ice. And as long as your blades are nice and sharp, you would be surprised how fast you can get through. So we're through the ice. What do we use for bait, tackle, rods? What's the easiest thing to do? Well, ice rods are short. They're only about two to three feet long because obviously you're just sitting right by the hole. And these rods are quite inexpensive. Like any equipment, you can buy pricey ones, but I personally never buy an ice rod more than about $10. And for reels, I just put the same reels on them that I'm using in the summer. I just move them all onto my ice rods in winter. And uh, about six pound test or eight pound test monofilament line, and literally a handful of simple lures, hooks, sinkers, uh, a few spoons, and most of the time when I'm ice fishing, especially for perch in southern Ontario, I'm using live minnows for bait. It's the only time of the year that I use bait. I don't use it any other time of year, but it helps a lot for the ice. And what do you want to do with that bait? You, so you drop it down the hole, just let it sit on the bottom, a little bit up from the bottom. What's the best place for the bait? What's your, give, us, give us a trick, give us your trick. <laughs> Well, I'm going to, as part of what you do once your lure goes on the hole, I'm going to tell you the number one mistake people make ice fishing, which is moving their bait too much. I would say two thirds of the perch I catch, I drop my bait down to the bottom, sometimes just a simple minnow, sometimes a spoon or something a little bit shiny with a minnow underneath, down to the bottom, reel it up a foot or two, and just leave it. And maybe wave the rod a little, a little gentle lifting, but Moving it too much is a problem because the fish are a bit sluggish and that's just not really natural. If you haven't tried it, get out there, give it a shot, get your license. It's amazing. You're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks again, Adam. Yeah, no problem. Let's get some air. It's getting hot in there. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks, guys. That was great.